Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I've got some really cool snakes to show you today. This is going to be pied and yellow belly complex stuff. So, you know me, I just like to get right down to it. Let's dig in. Okay, this first clutch. These guys are really squirmy too, so I'm going to try to keep them under control as much as possible. They are going to be getting set up in their own, uh, ra or own tubs and racks today yet, uh, but they are really squirmy, so um, just bear with me if I have to keep moving them around on the table here. Uh, so this clutch is actually from breeding a super striped pied to a yellow belly pied. So really, really cool stuff. So everything in this clutch is going to come out pied, and half of the baby statistically will come out uh, with yellow belly in it, and half will come out with specter in it because the, because of the male super striped pied. The female, being a yellow belly pied, will give a yellow belly gene to half the babies. So take a look at what we got here. Okay, first we got a nice ivory pied. Another ivory pied. This is a big clutch too, by the way. Another ivory pied. So, super yellow belly pieds. Okay, then we got what I'm pretty certain is a specter pied. Another ivory pied. I told you these guys were squirmy. Look at this. And a yellow belly pied. So I'm going to put the ivory pieds back where they're going to not climb all over the place. So this, this one right here, I believe, is a specter pied. And this one is a yellow belly pied. The reason why I'm thinking that is that you can see along the edge here, really pixelated. The specter doesn't really have that to that extent. I'm pretty sure this is a yellow belly pie, this is a specter pie. Otherwise, these two actually are pretty similar with the overall pattern. So now, let's take a look at the other ones that came out of here. Here is a super stripe pied. I'm sure somebody else has produced these already, probably a few people, but I've never seen them before. And uh, I was really happy with how they turned out. Really nice colors. And I definitely keep a couple of them. At least one, probably two. My original Super Stripe pie that I used to produce this um, clutch is a really high white one. So I actually wasn't even 100% sure what he was. I, I've was pretty sure that he was a super striped pie, but I wasn't 100% sure. But now, of course, I am. Here's another one. And here's another one. This guy looks pretty much like the dad. Just a darker head and pretty much all white for the rest of the body. So these are super striped pies. Really liking it. I want to see what happens if I can stack some color genes on this. I, I think uh, Orange Dream is a no-brainer. Uh, wouldn't mind seeing what Enchi looks like with that too, preferably with Orange Dream and Enchi in this. I think would be really nice. Look at that. So this is a pretty big clutch and uh, the results couldn't really have been any better. Okay, but that's not the only yellow belly complex pied clutch that I had hatch. This clutch is from a pastel Mardi Gras hat pied bred to a yellow belly pied. These guys aren't quite as squirmy. So this, so the, the male is only a hat pied, not a visual pied. So everything in here wouldn't necessarily come out visual pied. This is a yellow belly or asphalt that's 100% hat pied. Look at those markers along there. Doesn't get any more clearer than that. The problem is yellow belly and asphalt are so similar that it's almost impossible to know for sure which one is which when you're looking at one that's possibly either one. Here's another one. So 
So this one is a little bit lighter overall than this one. So maybe that's an indicator. If, if I had to guess, I would say this one's an asphalt, uh, pastel asphalt uh, hat pied, and this is a pastel yellow belly hat pied, but it's really just a guess. And then here's a pastel enchi asphalt or yellow belly hat pied. Again, nice, nice markers. So those are the three non-visual pieds in the clutch. Actually, I lied. There's one more. Here's an ivory hat pied. So I'll go back to the last clutch and just show you the difference between an ivory and an ivory pied. So this is a very high white ivory pied. Everything that's pure white on that is showing pied. And then the normal ivory colored head and that little patch right there is what's the, the normal ivory pattern. So pretty big difference when you're looking at them side by side. I'm going to get this guy put back. So, so that's the other non-visual pied. Okay, then I got three pieds in the clutch. Here's one. This is an asphalt or yellow belly pied. Really nice. Almost looks like it has orange dream in it, but it does not. And I've never actually seen a yellow belly pied, a normal yellow belly pied, quite that bright orange. So I'm thinking that might be asphalt, but again, until it's bred, you really can't tell for sure. Okay, now for the combos in the clutch. This one is either a freeway pied or a Mardi Gras pied. I'm just not sure. You know, this is the first time I've ever produced these, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at but pretty awesome colors. Um, again, I want to stack Orange Dream into that. I think that would look crazy. Uh, and she would be pretty cool too. see what happens when you get more pattern in it. Um, although this might be Enchi, so I guess that would be kind of redundant to add it in other than having a super Enchi. Okay, so this is the other one. This is a pastel freeway pied. And again, this one might be Enchi as well. So this could be a pastel Mardi Gras pied. So really awesome snakes. Um, of course, they're going to be holdbacks, but I do have, I think, another chance or two to produce these. So hopefully I'll have a couple available at some point, but really like the way this uh, project is going. Be really, really cool stuff. Okay, so that's all I have to show you guys today. I also wanted to give a shout out to Melicio. Uh, from Wisconsin, uh, Wisconstrictors. He's another Wisconsin guy. I, as most of you know, I live in Wisconsin. He also lives in Wisconsin. He's a great up and comer, really cool guy. Uh, great to talk to. I see him at all, all the NARBC, uh, Tinley's in Schaumburg. Um, really, really cool guy. He's got some really nice stuff. He's working on some great projects. So definitely check him out. I believe you can hit him up on Facebook and Instagram. So yeah, definitely check him out. And also visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. And also please like and subscribe to this video. And I'll be back again very soon with some more stuff to show you.